rotated into anterior posterior diameter. Mm -hmm. What's up guys, कैसे हो सब आज मैं आपको नॉर्दर्न स्टेट मेडिकल यूनिवर्सिटी का गायनोकोलॉजी डिपार्टमेंट का जो प्रैक्टिस है उसमें पार्ट टू दिखाने जा रहा हूँ वीडियो को एंड तक तो देखिएगा एंड जरूर सब्सक्राइब करना Uh, this will be second position of the uterus when you uh, we are showing you right side right side, right side mm -hmm. slightly elevated and la la last position will be the most low when lowest you, side da, when the we are mimic to the well contracted uterus uh, and empty mm -hmm. empty well contracted uterus uh, tak okay you have understood what will be inside mm -hmm. what you need collect what you need collect Collect uh, instruments uh, to perform this stage. Uh, I have prepared some pads, these boys pads. Uh, actually, in obstetrics, we are using these pads. This is medium size pads. Mm -hmm. But um, plus to this medium size, we usually use large. Large size. Mm -hmm. Additional dishes to collect the blood because. Blood loss need to be uh, calculated. calculated very carefully. Okay. The, um, among all troubles that mm -hmm. uh, we know in the uh, case of postpartum bleeding, the most common, the most stable thing is uh, un uh, underestimation of the blood loss. Uh, this is, uh, you see, it is partially psychological. Because the person who uh, we know that postpartum bleeding is very dangerous. Yeah, uh, dangerous. it is. Uh, in many cases, it may be massive. In in many cases, it is scaring the doctor. That's why uh, psychologically, <laughs> we underestimate the problem. Collecting all liquids, uh, and here you see small dishes, but real dishes. You need also scissors. This this one. Um, um, something to clamp the umbilical cord. Uh, how to clamp the umbilical cord? No, actually, we uh, in obstetrics we have one uh, single use clamps, uh, clips. Mm -hmm. How to clamp umbilical cord in medical setting? We are using forceps. For example, these forceps, uh, these are cohere forceps. Cohere. Mm -hmm. uh, they may be strands, may be curved, mm -hmm. but the name is the same. Uh, you will. Put them on the umbilical cord, but they have a lock, and mm -hmm. this lock needs some practice uh, to be. That's why I suggest you to practice it right now. Mm -hmm. uh, when you are clamping umbilical cord, I ask you to put uh, in the window. Yes, you see mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. this one. The same we do when uh, we are providing the uh, yes, natural right. birth, yes, mm -hmm. ordinary birth. Um, we put in this position and thus. We put uh, the umbilical cord in our fingers. Mm -hmm. This is a more. Oh, this. Oh. Mm -hmm. Anyway, um, because some students, when they see this first time, they put uh, and uh, uh, by the tips. Mm -hmm. It is not correct. This one correct. Also, uh, sponge forceps may be used, but not for this. Sponge forceps are usually used to collect the umbilical uh, to collect <coughs> the membranes. Mm -hmm and take them out mm -hmm. how you can name the woman because you need uh, a contact psychological contact and uh, explain how the procedure um, i'm coming here to help you to complete the labor process do you allow me medical investigation do you allow me to participate no. anyway you need get and you need to introduce yourself you need ask the patient's name and you need explain your uh, mission and get uh, permission. Uh, four positions. Introducing yourself. Who are you? How mm -hmm. he, uh, she may call you. Uh, who is she? How you may call her. Then, uh, what is the reason for you to come? I'm trying to... Uh, I um, can help you to complete the labor process. Mm -hmm. And permission. Do you allow me? Mm -hmm. Then, you see this. Primary steps to do. Primary steps to do are starting collection of the blood loss mm -hmm. and clamping umbilical cord. Uh, why? 
uh, first of all, you have understood how important it is to calculate the blood loss uh, correct. Mm -hmm. Because of... Uh, the if you see uh, the dish, don't remove it. Mm -hmm. uh, then, um, clamping umbilical cord. Why I suggest you to start from the clamping of umbilical cord? Because, uh, let's remember, mm -hmm. we, are, we should estimate elongation of umbilical cord. This needs time. And that's why it is better to start from this, put the clamp as close to the perineum as possible mm -hmm. for yourself to make a mock. Mm -hmm. That if it will be elongated, you will see this. Okay, uh, then what should we do next? Uh, we are starting from the checking for uh, another baby inside. Because we want to administer uterotonic drug, but uterotonic drug uh, will con over contract the uterus. Mm -hmm. That's why we need to check for the presence of another baby. How you will do this? I want you to understand that you need to show two types of palpation of the uterus. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are palpating the fetus by Leopold manoeuvres. Mm -hmm. And you remember there are some uh, number of manoeuvres. This is first manoeuvre, first mm -hmm. manoeuvre. <clears throat> this will be second maneuver. You need to show two of them. But uh, I want you to show correct. For this uh, position, we need uh, uh, a clear border between the uh, of the fetal or of the uterine upper part or tip of mm -hmm. the uterus. Uh, for palpation, you may use two hands, may use one hand, no matter. But in these cases, you will use the side of your palm. The side, yeah. this. Mm -hmm. Because you need border, that's why you will palpate in this way. The life hub, uh, how not to confuse yourself in real situation, because at this moment uterus is contracted, but not very heavily. Um, uh, not to be confused with uh, finding where is fundus high, start from the upper, the most uh, high position. At, from this point that you are 100% sure mm -hmm. the uterus uh, is not presented. Thus, you will find the uterine fundus better. If you will start from the point that you expect uterus to be, you will confuse yourself mm -hmm. of the fatal parts. The fatal parts. Because uh, always start from the borderlines. Try to find where is the end of the uterus, what is the size, and then palpate for the fatal parts. Mm -hmm. How to palpate for the fatal parts? For fatal parts, we are using all surfaces of the palm, palm. and fingers. Mm -hmm. This is the most common position of the fetus in, mm -hmm. in the uterus. And for example, if corresponding to the woman. Palpating the fundus, you are mm -hmm. using uh, this way. Okay. When you are palpating the fetus, what you need to find? You need to find smooth, large surface of the fatal back. Mm -hmm. This so is large, large mm -hmm. smooth. And another, you need to find round shape, mm -hmm. round shape fatal head. Yes. Mm -hmm. These are most important uh, uh, things that you can palpate through abdomen. Mm -hmm. Because abdomen is skin, uh, fatty, uh, so the muscles, the uterine wall, and then only fetus. Mm -hmm. That's why we, when we are palpating, we can understand fatal back and fatal head. Mm -hmm. um, and what? If and you need screen the mm -hmm. surface of the baby. Mm -hmm. To screen it more effectively, you need to use all palms. palms. Yes. And this is correct way to palpate the baby. You need uh, this one. You need this surface when you are screening. The consistency is not ideal. And you don't know. Maybe the head is uh, located in that manner that you are palpating facial structures, or maybe it is extended, mm -hmm. uh, and that's why it seems to be of irregular shape. Mm -hmm. uh, or maybe this is a uh, bridge presentation. Search for the fatal head. Mm -hmm. And how we are searching for the fatal head? We are using this because we want to find where is round shape structure. And if you will find the fatal head, for example, here, Mm -hmm. uh, you are sure that this is breaches. Mm -hmm. <laughs> if you have not found it clearly, you have not found head. You think maybe it is breach. Mm -hmm. Oh, maybe it is. Uh, oh, sorry, cephalic, but with mm -hmm. some un un unusual cephalic presentation. So I, I just want you to explain that uh, when doctors are providing something, they are not genius. Mm -hmm. Yourself, uh, explain procedure, and you don't need to show this uh, because let's show. We have uh, no ability. How they you to be well understood? <laughs> Intramuscularly, no.
it will provide over contraction of the mm. uterus but oxytocin need to be uh, it cannot be uh, uh, stored in uh, room mm-hmm. here. Clinics you may get, for example, the best choice I think is uh, misoprostol or other prostaglandin. Mm-hmm. E1, E2 may be administered. This uh, drug may be administered orally, uh, intravaginally, but the best choice is usually per rectum. Okay. Per rectum. We are putting uh, three tablets uh, into the rectum. Mm-hmm. This is very good, very strong uterotonic drug. Uh, if we are talking about that case when you have nothing, for example, this is airplane or this is some, I don't know, not medical setting at all. In this case, uh, you will suggest women to start breastfeeding because breastfeeding is a natural way to start okay. secretion of oxytocin. oxytocin. So, um, and what will be next? Next, when you have check for presence of the symptoms of placental separation. And let's remind the maternal uterine uh, fundus will change the position. The, uh, and you say that I see the elongation of umbilical cord. Mm. So, combination of these two symptoms is good for you are ready uh, to for the placental delivery. I ask you to stand in this position and ask women to push. Mm-hmm. Ask women to push. This will minimize the risk of uterine inversion. Mm-hmm. The person who will stay. And then he will show you the edge of the placenta. When you will see the edge of the placental disc, mm-hmm. remove this to the side. Mm-hmm. Free both your hands. Fold the placenta inside rotate it into anterior posterior diameter mm-hmm. because everything we remove in anterior posterior diameter and remove it during this process these parts may stay there mm. if they it will happen for example they will mm-hmm. in real life no uh, in this case if you see the part take it collect and when you will observe the placenta put it on uh, the, the place of the defect Push. because maybe some other defects you will find Mm-hmm. What else we are checking? We are checking margins. We are checking margins for margins. additional vessels. Because if you will see erupted vessels here, that means that additional lobules uh, may be presented. Mm-hmm. So when you have checked the placenta, you will state that I see this safe. It is safe. Uh, put it to the side. It is over. And uh, early hemorrhage. Mm-hmm. If you remember, postpartum hemorrhage may be presented because of 40 Torn, trauma, tissue retained, thrombin. And I suggest you to uh, remember this every T uh, uh, by next manipulation. Uh, Torn, we are checking by palpation of the uterine fundus and you will find it below umbilicus uterus is from. Mm-hmm. Uh, to ask you to take a pad and, um, and uh, see if the visible lacerations presented here. Mm-hmm. Uh, notice how I'm doing this, and actually, uh, when you will return to the uh, to the hostel, yes, uh, providing the observation, she will use the same ma- manipulation. She is pressing, removing, and looking, because of course, bloody discharges mm-hmm. will be. Of course, you dry by pressing, pressing and looking, pressing and looking. Yeah. In this way, we are drying and visualizing the surface. So, this retain has already checked. The blood loss will be collected. The labor is over. The area needs to be sanitized. Mm-hmm. The uh, all bloody clothes pads need to be mm-hmm. separately uh, cal- calculated mm-hmm. or collected. The woman will get uh, clean new clothes. Uh, she needs to be together with the baby yeah. for two yeah. hours. She stays here, and every 15 minutes we control uh, maternal complaints, tone, and uh, height of the fundus and blood loss. At least one time within this period, we are checking for maternal temperature, maternal blood pressure. If they are normal, we are not repeating. If they are abnormal, of course, you repeat and decide.